What's up guys, what's up? Back to day to play guys. It's been three weeks now. I filmed a video and I am very happy to be back in front of the phone's camera again. And guys, I'm not kidding. I honestly wanted to quit YouTube because it is so stressful nowadays and it is so difficult to do YouTube guys. If I am to be frank with you guys, it is so difficult. And the difficult part is not about getting something to share with your subscribers but it is because getting the subscribers itself is so difficult that when i was deleting this youtube channel at the first time uh, yeah you are surprised i have deleted this channel once and you can look it up in my first video the first video i uploaded on this channel and that video is not a fact that i uploaded on youtube platform because i already have 111 video of myself which i had already uploaded on youtube platform in the first handsome jtv channel but i deleted it because i wanted to start afresh and with that channel i was having 170 subscribers with 288 which i was so i thought that deleting it and re um, recreating another channel and naming it handsome jtv would get me like 20 to 30 subscribers like in less than a month but i thought wrong and now you see i am still having seven subscribers maybe you have subscribed to it we change to eight and if that person is subscribed to go eight we change to nine so i thought that i would get the subscribers faster than i expected but i thought wrong and just when i was on the verge of deleting this youtube channel again and putting it to forever i got hooked up with this youtube channel called era and bro if you accidentally click on this channel and you are watching this video right now just because it has your name in the title then thank you for dropping by and shout out to you because you are not one of the reasons why i didn't quit youtube well, guys era set a target for himself for one million subscribers by the end of the year and he freaking did it and when i subscribed to his channel he wasn't that one million so i am proud to be part of the one million subscribers of era and guys thank you and if you are also a fan of era and you're watching this video please let me know in the comment comment i am a subscriber of era and also or oh, i am a fan of era and please drop me a like button and give me a subscribe because i hope that by the end of this year i would get like thousand subscribers so maybe two thousand or maybe 25 or maybe one million who knows maybe one of my videos will get traded faster than anyone expected and i might get one million subscribers by the end of this video uh, this year but my target is 1000 subscribers by the end of this year and i hope you guys will make it happen and the second reason why i'm doing this video is because um i whilst i was still thinking of deleting the channel after getting hooked up with this Iraq channel, I also got added to this WhatsApp group. And with this WhatsApp group, the admin posts the confessions of other people to advisors. And I thought, why don't I share these confessions with you guys? And mind you guys, some of the confessions are nasty, stupid, and you will get honey reading some of these confessions. So um, I, I want to warn you guys because there are a lot of confessions that I'm going to share with you guys which only if you guys subscribe to the channel and give me a like on this video to show me that you love this um video and at the end of this video i will see your comment because all of the confessions requires a comment from you guys so i hope you guys will enjoy this video and also don't forget to subscribe to um, this channel and follow me on instagram at concept so with that being said let's go straight to the confession Before I go straight to the confessions, I want to remind you guys once again to comment what you think about this video and also um, the confessions that I'll be sharing with you guys or not this platform, all of the confessions that I'm going to share with you guys will require comments from you guys. So please do want to comment at the end of this video and give me a like to motivate me to do more to show that you guys love this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So um, with that being said, let's go straight to the confessions. So she was my first love and I really loved this girl with my whole heart. I was in SHS 1 and she was in SHS 2. We had a good time. 
everything together and we both even broke each other's virginity. Everything was going so well and we were both faithful to each other until my best friend started acting unreal. I was then in my final year writing Wasi and my girlfriend called me complaining about my friend worrying her with calls. I told her to ignore him and she told me okay. Not knowing she accepted my friend's proposal and they were dating without my knowledge. I finished my paper and came home to find out that my best friend has fucked my girlfriend so many times as my homies even confirmed. Since that issue, our friendship, uh, our relationship wasn't the same because she started at seeing other guys to assign my friend. This my lovely girl changed totally and it came to a point that we had to break up unfortunately. In fact, it took me like one year to get myself back again because I really love this girl. Luckily, I found another girl and we have been dating for months now. Our relationship is going on so well. But don't forget, the guy who found my girlfriend is still my friend despite what happened. Now just for the end, guys, this is one thing that you will never find between a girl and a girl, I mean girl friendship because if this was to happen to two girls who are friends and the other friend cheated and the other friend went in for the friend's boyfriend, part of the relationship, I mean the friendship and the relationship, the main relationship will get scattered but look at this, the male the, the, the main relationship got scattered, but the friendship still stands. So this is one thing that you can't get from um, a female relationship. Okay. Now, just recently, I went to poolside with my friend, and a girlfriend took my phone to take pics. Wait, he also has a girlfriend. What a jerk! To my surprise, she did snap showing her boobs and acting some way in her videos. I later sent the videos here and she asked me if the snaps were nice and my answer was positive. To cut everything short, my friend's girlfriend is now worrying me with coming to visit me as she has confessed to have crush on me and this is what I call karma. This is called karma. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or why I'm saying this now because your, your, your best friend fucked your girlfriend and now your best friend's girlfriend has now confessed to you that she is having a crush on you. Meaning, you can take revenge on him by fucking her girlfriend too. And you guys will be even. So th that, that is the reason why I am saying this is karma. So I don't know either to take revenge on my friend and fuck his girlfriend too. Or just shun because I have promised my new girlfriend not to ever cheat on her. So guys, if I am to give you my honest reply, honestly, if I was to be in this guy's shoes, I would have taken revenge. And don't think I'm a bad person with what, I'm, or what is coming up in my mind or what I'm saying. Because I would have done it honestly without hesitation, I would have taken revenge. Because my friend didn't think twice doing this to me, so I wouldn't even think about doing, I, I wouldn't even think about um, having an affair, uh, an affair with my friend's girlfriend because he did the same, to, the, the same thing to me. So I wouldn't think twice about doing this. So what would you do? That is the question that I'm asking you guys. What would you do? Would you take revenge or you just shun everything and pretend that nothing ever happened? So this will be the end of the video guys. Please let me know your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to give me a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And SMG and TV. And shout out to you Arab for motivating me to to keep on with this channel. So, with that being said, I'm leaving.